Hello, Xander. My name is Dr. Zafal Majin. Sin is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can I proceed? Thank you. As you may have taken all the university precautions. Hello? Hello, Doctor. I'm Michael Brown. Yes, Doctor. Michael and Dr. Zafal, one of the doctors working here. Can you please confirm your age for me? Doctor, I'm 42 years old. Alright, Michael, uh, you don't seem well. Please tell me what happened. Doctor, I have been having bleeding from the back passage. I'm really sorry, Michael. Please tell me when it started. Doctor, it started last night. Alright, and what is the amount of the bleed? I have no idea. What about the color? It's bright red. Alright, and do you have uh, bleeding from anywhere else? No, Doctor. Now, is there anything specific happened before it started? I have no idea, Doctor. Okay, don't worry, Michael. I am here to help you. Just bear with me for a few minutes. So, Michael, uh, do you feel heart racing? No, Doctor. Do you feel dizzy? Yes, Doctor. When is starting? In the morning. Alright, and Michael, do you feel shortness of breath? Yes, I do, Doctor. Alright, Michael, uh, have you been diagnosed with any medical condition? Yes, Doctor. I have been diagnosed with DVT and I take warfarin for that. Alright, Michael, I, uh, and you taking warfarin as prescribed? Uh, I don't think so, Doctor. Sometimes I miss the dose as well. Alright, and are you taking any other medication other than warfarin? No, Doctor. Are you allergic to uh, any medicine? No, doctor. By any chance, do you have any smoker's cough? No, doctor. Alright, Michael, thank you so much. Now I'm going to quickly assess you what I'll be doing. I'll be looking, touching, tapping, and feeling different parts of your body. I will need to understand you as well. A member of the medical team will be with me to ensure your privacy and dignity. Can I proceed? Yes, doctor. Thank you, Michael. Let, first, let me see if you are attached to the monitor or not. I can see that my patient is attached to the monitor. Situation is on the lower side, white is unstable. Okay, Michael, your white is unstable and I'm going to quickly start the ABCD approach. Alright, doctor. As my patient is talking to me, I'm not worried about the airway. First, let me look inside his mouth, my lips are in tongue scale, well, everything seems fine. Michael, level of oxygen in your blood is low. I'm going to start on oxygen, 50 meters, 100 percent. Why not to take with the mask? Alright, doctor. Just try to take nice and easy breaths. You will feel fresh, fresh of air. It will help me in breathing. Alright, Michael, now I'm going to quickly examine your chest. Alright, I'm going to undress your chest. Alright, I can see everything is fine, no problem there. So, I'm going to feel the position of the trachea. Center, I can see the respiratory is a bit on higher side. I'm going to check the chest. Expansion is fine. I'm going to percussion. Alright, Michael, I'm going to listen to your breath sounds. Alright, doctor. It seems fine as well. I would like to order water with just x ray and ABG as well. Alright, doctor. I can't have a feeling. Doctor, I don't feel good, doctor. Madam, no, just please bear with me. I'm here to help you. Do just let me assess. I am going to pin your finger, Michael. One, two, three, four, five. My patient recovery feel is delayed. I'm going to check the pulse. It's regular, but its volume is low and it's High as well, because bleeding my patient is having. Michael, I'm going to check your blood pressure. I can see that my patient's blood pressure is low. Alright, Michael, I'm going to put two large bladder cannulas. You might feel sharp scratch. And I would like to take blood and I will like to send uh, routine blood investigations, CBC infection markers, infection markers, and I would also like to. Uh, Send uh, for the protein profile, iron studies, INR as you are taking warfarin, and also I would like to check blood group and cross match. Alright, and I would also like to follow the nurse for negative blood as well. Alright, and as your BP is on lower side, I'm going to start with fields. Alright, in the time melt. Alright, in 15 minutes, I might need to repeat up to 2 liters in 1 hour. I'm now going to examine your chest. Listening the heart sounds. Alright, I would like to order 12 with the ECG as well. Okay, Michael, now I am going to check your temperature. Seems fine. I am going to check your blood sugar levels. Normal as well. Michael, I am going to shine light in your eyes. Yeah, it seems fine as well, it's reactive. 
Doctor, can you please uh, move your right leg for me? Yes, Doctor. Left leg for me? Yes, Doctor. Okay, I would also like to look at my, at my patient drug chart as well and notes as well. Alright, Michael, how are you feeling? Doctor, I don't feel good. Please, Michael, I'm here. I'm here to help you. Just uh, let me assess you as well. I'm definitely going to help you. So, I can see that my patient is not feeling better. His saturation is still on the lower side and also uh, blood BP is on the lower side as well. Michael, I'm going to start with another bottle of fluids, 500 ml. Right. Now I'm going to examine your tummy. See, everything is fine there. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Right, it seems fine. I'm going to examine your private area, front face and back face as well. Oh, I can see that there is a massive bleed down there. I would like to activate major hemorrhagic protocol as my patient is uh, bleeding a lot and also his BP is low as well. And I would also like to put catheter as well. Later, the new now port as well. Starting with fluid, I'm going to look at his legs. Blood has been arranged. Okay, let me. Michael, how are you feeling? Doctor, I'm not feeling good. Let me look at the monitor. My patient blood pressure is still on the lower side. Patient is not feeling better. Michael, I'm going to start with blood. One unit in each arm in 10 to 15 minutes. All right. Oh, well, Michael, how are you feeling? Doctor, I feel a bit better now. Alright, as my patient is taking warfarin and bleeding from back pressure, I would also like to start my patient on 5 mg of warfarin and PCC. Prothrombin concentrates compressed with the unit per kg as well. If my patient is 60 kg, I am going to start on 300, 3000 uh, units. Alright, Michael, how are you feeling now? Doctor, I feel better now. I am glad Michael you are feeling better. Let me look at your monitor and I can see that my patient vitals are improving as well. Alright Michael, uh, so let me explain what actually happened, right? So you presented to us with, uh, with back passage bleed, alright? And you told me that you are taking warfarin, so I am suspecting that you are bleeding because of the medication you are taking that is a blood thinner. On my initial assessment, your saturation was on lower side, your BP was on also on lower side. I have started giving you on oxygen, I have started giving you on fluids as well. And I have sent some blood tests as well and I have also arranged the blood as well. Started giving you on blood as well and I have also given you 5 mg of vitamin K that is antidote for the warfarin. And also because you are bleeding a lot, the prothrombin concentrate complex as well, 50 units per kg. As you are 60 kg, I started giving you on 3000 units, alright? And for now, my recommendation is to keep you here. We will keep assessing you. I have stopped the warfarin as well, and also we will uh, measure the INR as well. All right. And the gut specialist will come and will be doing a camera test from the back passage to find the source of bleed other than the warfarin, and might need to stop it as well. All right. All right. Doctor. Is there anything that is bothering you now? Anything you want to ask? No, doctor. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. So I have managed the patient who presented with back pest bleed and he was taking warfarin for DVT. On my assessment, saturation was on the lower side, BP was also low, so I have given him oxygen, fluid, arranged blood as well, alright, and I have given him vitamin K, 5 mg, and also PCC, 50 units per kg as well, alright. After initial treatment, he is feeling a bit better, BP started improving. Now, gut specialist will come, yeah, assess him as well, might need to do colonoscopy to find other ways of back passage bleed as well, alright. Thank you so much.